as we all know diabetes is a disease of endocrine system so basically it's something to do with the glucose handling of the body as we know there is a very important hormone known as insulin which is responsible for proper handling of sugar or glucose inside our body now there are two types of diabetes type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes in type 1 diabetes actually the production of insulin so as you know insulin is actually produced from pancreas a beta cell of pancreas so in type 1 diabetes the production of insulin is somehow hampered whereas in type 2 diabetes there is something called as insulin resistance and there are multiple other things which actually results in results in the situation though in the body the insulin level is not low but it cannot work properly because of some problem in the receptor level or somewhere else now type 2 diabetes mellitus is a very complex kind of disease if you see if you try to you know find out the natural history of type 2 diabetes mellitus you'll find that you know in the natural history before the blood sugar is getting elevated the other things which happen say for example the blood i mean the lipid parameters they get deranged the triglyceride is typically high ldl though it is not numerically high but if we see the component of ldl the apo b becomes very high and the you know the ldl particle they become small and dense we call them small dense ldl and overall level is not very high but if we quantify the apob that becomes very high similarly hdl also may come down so this is typical diabetic dyslipidemia so after the diabetic dyslipidemia typical pattern then the blood pressure is getting elevated then the body weight is getting elevated elevated typical pattern the central obesity the waist hip circumference ratio becomes altered and at the end actually the blood sugar is getting elevated so up to that you know level the disease the beta metabolic disease per se is very advanced so to be honest yes in both situation blood sugar is getting elevated which is reflected in the lab value either fasting pp sugar or hg1c but the pathogenesis and pathophysiology of type 1 and type 2 diabetes are completely different no that actually is uh, not correct fine so why we are actually very much fearful about carbohydrate because if we consume carbohydrate after consumption they immediately increase the blood level of sugar now there is a quantification by which we can understand which carbohydrate is actually giving rise to you know high sugar how quickly we call it glycemic index now glycemic index of some of the carbohydrates say for example glucose is very high similarly rice particularly refined rice is very high but if we see some other carbohydrate we call them complex carbohydrates say for example difference between high glycemic index carbohydrate and complex carbohydrate is between the fact that the glycemic index is completely different so it's not that you cannot consume any kind of carbohydrate in diabetes rather you can actually consume complex carbohydrate which are also rich in minerals and also rich in fiber the fiber is very good because multiple trials has shown fiber actually is very beneficial for our gi tract they have some protection from different gi cancer and if we consume carbohydrate which is rich in fiber your bowel habits are very good and also there are different vitamin deficiencies which will be never seen in you so that is how you should feed it's not the fact that all the carbohydrate has to be avoided in diabetes